Hi students and welcome to today's lesson. I'm Mr. Hunter. Today, we will explore the question, how can we describe different objects? Are you ready? Grab your pencil and your science journal and let's get started. Hey, I have an idea. Let's take a virtual field trip to the beach. Imagine you're standing near the water. What do you see? Maybe you see objects like the shells in this photograph. What words would you use to describe these objects? Hmm, I would say that this shell is white and brown. And this shell is black and it looks hard. If we took the objects in the photograph and put them together in a bucket, I wonder if their properties would change. I don't think so, do you? I think the shells, sand, and rocks would just get mixed together, but they wouldn't change. I want to learn more about mixing objects, don't you? Today, we will explore what happens when we mix objects together. What do you observe in this container? I see two types of objects in the jar. The jar contains a mixture of marbles and washers. A mixture is a combination of two or more objects or materials. When I make a bowl of cereal for breakfast, I create a mixture by mixing cereal and milk. Let's make another mixture together. Then we can observe the properties of the objects we mix. I have a plastic container, some pennies, and some paper clips. We will mix the pennies and the paper clips together in the container. But first, let's observe the properties of each type of object. What do you notice about the pennies? I notice that the pennies are small and copper colored. They are also hard and round. What do you notice about the paper clips? The paper clips are silver and small. They feel smooth and they have an oval shape. Now let's mix these objects together in the container. What do you notice? Hmm, the objects are mixed together, but I can still see individual pennies and paper clips. Did the objects change when we mixed them? Hmm, I don't think they did, do you? Now let's change the mixture by adding another type of object. This time we will add erasers. But before we do, let's observe the properties of the erasers. What do you notice? Maybe you notice that the erasers are red and small. I notice that the erasers are smooth. <laughs> Great! Let's add the erasers to our mixture. Now we have a mixture of three objects. What do you notice about this mixture? I notice that this mixture looks different from our first mixture. But can you still see individual pennies, paper clips, and erasers? Yes! One task for today will be to draw this mixture. Another task will be to answer the question about whether the objects changed when we mixed them and to explain your answer. Did the objects change when we mixed them? No. Once again, the objects did not change when we mixed them. We have been exploring the question, how can we describe different objects? How does our new knowledge about mixtures help us answer this question? Well, we learned that mixtures are a combination of two or more objects or materials. And we also learned that when we mix objects together, the properties of the objects can stay the same. Hey, I think we should add this new information to our class chart. Don't you? Let's write 
Objects or materials can be combined to form mixtures where the properties of each object do not change. Great work. One of your tasks for today will be to update this chart. Do you remember this photograph of a beach from the beginning of our lesson? Well, guess what? This photograph is actually part of a video clip. Let's watch the video clip now. What do you observe? Do you see that wave? I notice that water from the wave washes over the shells in the sand. Imagine scooping the objects and materials on the beach into a bucket as the wave comes in. What objects or materials would you scoop into your bucket? We would scoop up sand and shells, but we would also scoop up water, right? Now, I have a challenge question for you. What properties would you use to describe the water in your bucket? Well, we could describe the color of water as clear, right? And maybe we could describe the mass of water. But could we describe the texture of water? Or the hardness of water? Does water have a shape or a size? And is water flexible? Hmm, I think we need more information to describe the properties of water. We will learn more about the properties of different kinds of objects and materials in our next lesson. Let's review your tasks for today. First, draw the mixture of pennies, paper clips, and erasers. Second, respond to the question about the mixture. Third, update the class chart.